Hola, welcome back to another video. And this is totally random, not planned at all because I am bored and whatnot and I do not care because I'm bored. I don't know if many people watch these things anyway, so it's fine. So I'm going to be talking about my top five or 10 favorite musicals off the top of my head because I have not planned any of this. So it's either gonna be five or 10 and it's most likely just gonna be five. So let's get on into it. So number one is Hamilton, of course. Hamilton is my everything. I, I love history and I love music and combining them together is like a holiday for me. So when I first heard Hamilton, I had no idea who the heck he was like most people. And I just fell in love. I fell in love with not him, but with his wife. That sounded so weird, but I fell in love with the story of Elizabeth Schuyler trying to keep his legacy alive even though he cheated on her and then basically humiliated her in front of the entire country and you know I also loved Peggy even though she was there for barely a minute so and then I love the songs I love Aaron Burr he's my favorite villain by far and wait for it room where it happens some of the greatest songs in the entire thing. However, my favorite song is Nonstop because of, it's just beautiful, okay? It's crafted perfectly with all the different characters showing Alexander's tra transformation into some legacy-obsessed idiot. And like, at the end when they're all singing around him saying, just do wait, like foreshadowing, it's just, mwah, perfect. The second musical I can think about is In the Heights. I love In the Heights because I am Mexican, partly, and I am terrible at Spanish, so do not ask me to do Spanish like ever. But In the Heights has a special place in my heart. I love its music, its atmosphere, and just everything about it. Um, Carnaval del, Carnaval, Carnaval del Barrio, I'm sorry I pronounced that wrong, is my, by far my favorite song because of it's like when it says like raise the Mexican flag, raise the, the Puerto Rican flag and all that stuff. And it's just so much fun. Like you can dance to every one of their songs even if they aren't meant to be danced to. And it's just so amazing and wonderful. And I love it. I love No Me Diga. That's great too. I just love all the girl characters and all the boy characters. I love Sunny, I love Benny. I don't really care about Usnavi that lot. But I just love everything about it. It's so amazing and beautiful. And it's a great tribute to culture and stuff. And when Abuela died, I got really sad. It was really sad because my grandma, my great grandma passed away. And, it, and I remember I was really sad. So when it said that she passed away. I got really sad too. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got two down. Three. Probably Mean Girls. Not for the reasons you would suspect. Expect. I'm not a fan of girls being mean to each other. Because I, people have been mean to me and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, or the message that, the message is okay at the end, like, don't dumb yourself down for a guy. Never do that. Or just like, but the music's really good and well crafted. The voices are amazing. Um, that's the only reason I really like it that much. I love the villain song, Someone Gets Hurt and World Burn. That are by far great villain songs. And um, my favorite song from Mean Girls probably has to be, um, I'd rather be me. I've heard people complain about the rhyming, but I honestly don't care. Um, it's just so inspiring and like saying, I need to be me and I can't change me for you. And that's what I find really cool about the song, personally. And I don't care if it can't rhyme to save its life. I also, um, 
love Katie. She's very sweet in the beginning, and then like when she realizes that she's been a jerk and has basically become Regina, I like it when she tries to piece things together by giving everyone part of the plastic crown and stuff. Um, it's nice. I also like Gretchen because of her little freakouts and stuff during Revenge Party, and it was just fun. Okay, number three. Number four, Anastasia. Again, history. I love history, and I love music. So, Anastasia is kind of a lie musical. Fan fiction, basically, because Anastasia actually, if you didn't know that. So, and it's just beautiful. I love the movie, so when I saw the musical, I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I mean, it was just awesome, and I love the story of, like, family and stuff. I'm a big family person and I love In a Crowd of Thousands. That's probably one of the best romantic duets ever. And um, I love Once Upon December and Close the Doors, which is really sad. And yeah, uh, I also like um, The Neva Flows um, and the and Still Reprise. Like when he's like struggling to shoot her or not to shoot her, and it's just perfecto. Villain's kind of but not that good, but still, it was all right. Number four. Did I say number four? Wait, one. Yep, number five. Never mind. Five. Um. What's another musical I like? Uh, I love Six. Moving on, because Six, I love it. Henry Davis wise, amazing songs. But, you know what, we'll just say all my favorite musicals, basically. Um, Six, I love because I love Henry VIII in English history and all that fun jazzy stuff. And I, love how they portray each of the wives and all their individual songs. I love Don't Lose Your Head and Heart of Stone. Those are like my two favorites. However, the best one I gotta say is All You Wanna Do. Not because of ugh, not because of all the stuff that's in it. It's because of the story. Like I've heard, like we've all had like we've all been rejected before, right? Or we've had like not me, but we've all had a boyfriend before and broke up and we thought they were the one or something like that. And it's so sad, like, watching her realize as each time goes by th that none of them really cared about her at all. And it's kind of sad and especially s very upsetting when she breaks down at the end. And that's why All You Want to Do is my favorite. Number six is Anne Juliet. Anne Juliet is not that popular, but it's about what if Juliet didn't kill herself at the end of Romeo and Juliet. And I love its story. It's hip hop -y songs and it's just beautifully crafted and everything and it's just amazing I've never seen it I've just listened to the soundtrack it's great and everything and it's a nice story of what would have happened if Juliet didn't kill herself it's not the best but it isn't the worst by far number seven I'm running out of these um hmm is probably 21 Chump Street. Um, it's sad. It's about an undercover officer and a schoolboy that falls in love with her and she kind of just uses him to find out who's buying and selling marijuana and stuff like that. It's really, really sad <laughs> and that he gets sent to jail at the end and it's, I love all the songs. My favorite is um, probably the Money song. Like, where they're like fighting back and forth and like taking the money or not taking the money. Um, um, yeah, and I just love it so much. Yeah. Is there any other musicals I like? Oh, hmm. Or if you guys have any musicals, tell me them down below that I should listen to or react to even. I would do that because I have nothing else to do. Um, Hmm. Those are all my musicals. I guess I'll... Hmm. I 
And I want to make this video extra longer than it needs to be. So I'm going to go over them. So this other guy I watch um, in real life, I think that's what he's called. He does this thing, like, he did this video, like, where you say one good thing about the music and one bad thing about it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick, okay? In, like, five seconds. Hamilton. Good telling about a wonderful story about a wife who was super faithful and told a story even though most of the history forgot him and even though he was a trashy husband she still forgave him and it's a nice song about wanting to be more and remembering who you are in your past bad he cheated on his wife and published it because he was scared that um if he didn't publish it people would think of him as a bad secretary of treasury yeah that's a good that wraps it up about it okay in the heights wonderful cultural depictions um amazing about following your dreams and you know sometimes your dreams might shift lanes and stuff great awesome bad thing um it's not really bad so i can't really complain um oh people are too dumb to say their feelings because you know that's we need to have that intense drama and then like um benny and nina fight and then make up by kissing each other. Yeah, that makes sense. So, future advice, if you ever get in a fight with your spouse or significant other, you should just kiss them and everything will be fine. Okay, um, mean girls. Overcoming bitterness, learning to be yourself, learning you shouldn't change yourself or dumb yourself down for a guy. Bad, just everything I said before, but in effect. Um, Anastasia, amazing story about traveling to find oneself and love and family and who you really are. Bad, she actually died in real life, so this whole play is for nothing, basically. Um, mm, what was the one I said after that? Oh, 21 Chump Street. Amazing story about love, loss, and sacrifice, I guess, in a way. And learning that you shouldn't let your feelings towards someone dictate what you do or what you get for them. Bad. And a police officer used a school child to find out who was selling and taking drugs, basically. So, police. I think none of you are watching this, but if you are, please don't use school children. That's just... That's just terrible. Um, and Juliet, amazing story about finding oneself and that you you might have to learn to forgive and forget and then um, blah, 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 that you need to find out who you are outside your friend groups and basically all that stuff. Bad, she literally gets with the same guy she dumps and you know, this married couple has a fight during it and yeah, that's about it. So not the most fun video ever, or planned one, too, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what musicals you want me to listen to, or see, down below, and yep.